Welcome to LS200 series orifice maintenance procedure. For this, you will need LS200 instruction manual, a 30 millimeter and a 90 millimeter socket wrench for the unit without slam shot. For slam shot configuration, we will need also a 10 millimeter socket wrench and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. You will also need LS200 repair kit and a repair kit for pad disc and for slam shot disc. If the unit you are working on has slam shot, you have some additional step. First step is tripping the slam shot by pushing the trip button on the VSX module. Then you are going to remove the slam shot by removing the four bolts. Remove the slam shot box cover by backing out the four bolts with a 10 mm socket. Once the cover is removed, we will remove four hex sockets, key 224, on the drawing in instruction manual using a 5 mm Allen head. Once the bolts are removed, the entire slam shot assembly can be removed from the body. Pull directly out, being careful of the O-rings seal. Once free, set aside in the side place, protecting the cam and O-rings. Once the slam shot is removed, the next step is removing the four bolts on the intermediary flange with the 30 mm socket. After we remove these four bolts, we can pull the actuator off the assembly and leave the body in the line. Depending on the actuator side, you may want two people to lift. The range in weight is 20 to 28 kilos. Place the actuator on the side protecting the vent and the travel indicator. Now we will remove the pad disc and the orifice. Using a 90 mm socket wrench, we will remove the lock nut key 54. The pad disc and the o-ring should came off now. Use a Torx head socket size 20 to remove the orifice from the cage. Now watch how I do this with the slam shot. With the slam shot tripped, there will be spring compression behind the orifice. Keep the orifice in place with one hand while backing the screw with the other. There is not a lot of compression, but a little that the orifice may pop and fall. And we really don't want this falling and damaging. Now the time is to inspect the slam shot disc for damage as well. Since we are here, let's check out for damage. If it needs to be replaced, remove the snap ring key 209 and the disc and the bleed spring should be free. Slide the new disc and replace the snap ring. From the repair kit, take a new orifice, inspect it for any dents or nicks. With one hand, line the bolt holes from the orifice with the one on the cage and hold the orifice in place, compressing the slam shot spring. With the other, start threading the Torx screw by hand. Once the screw are started, you can let go. Drive those to 3 feet pounds or 3.2 newton meter. Reassemble the disc stacking with the disc plate, O-ring, pad disc and the lock nut. Tightening to 26 feet pounds or 35 newton meter using the 90 mm socket. Check the O-ring, key 40, that seals the orifice and body. Look for any damage and replace if needed. Lightly lubricate and now it's time to reassemble. Lift the actuator and place back in the body and align the control line to the, his original position for the tubing.
Ensure the stacking is good and no o-ring are being squeezed. The intermediary flange should rest flat with the body with even gap around. Then start replacing the four bolts, key 22. Drive down in a rotating pattern each side a little at a time. If you have a slam shot, we'll now reattach to the side. Ensure the cam is in lower position, 6 o'clock. Align the slam shot box with the original orientation and carefully reattach the box to the body. There should be no gaps between the body and box. Once line up, drive the four bolts to 8 feet pounds or 10 newton meters and replace the box cover with the four bolts. Reattach the sensing line on the SX controller. Rearm the slam shot with the provided lever by turning counterclockwise and ensure that it rotates and rearm without difficulty. Now you have completed the orifice replacement procedure. For more information, contact your local Emerson sales partner.